welcome strength fans to another edition of the ultimate strongman sunday lunch I'm joined here as always by my dad and we're just coming back at you dad from the ferry um for the last competition where tell us a wee bit about that yeah well, we were just on the uh doncaster dome the home of a uh, strongman uh sport uh, if you like where all the big shows begin and develop into sort of massive events and uh, like Britain's Strongest Man, for example, have come from there and we, we've uh, launched uh, our UK Strongest Woman now for the second year um, and we brought it to the Doncaster Dome to help it grow. And it was a packed house and uh, bolt on to that, we brought some uh, great strongman fans to watch the UK Strongest Man eliminated to find our final three, final three competitors for the top four. And before we get on to that, we're going to get on to that in a wee bit. Um, we just want to touch on a bit of world news. And what a world news it was. Christoph Wiersbicki pulled 502.5 kilos. What did you make of that? Well, it, it was an absolutely insane lift. I mean, he's, he's a light uh, competitive group as well. 105, you know, 105, 105, yeah. You know, and, uh, and he, Christoph, you know, all them poles that just... They're just mighty men, full stop, you know, they're hardy, and uh, he definitely produced the goods on the uh, deadlift. Um, sumo, personally, not a fan. It's a very short lift. Um, it's not quite the full deadlift that we've seen Ed Hall. But on a positive note, he was wearing uh, proper straps for it, rather than the figure of eight, which I'm not keen about. Why, why are you not keen about the figure of well, eight Well, there's straps? a couple of reasons. The, the health and safety thing of it, really, as well, because if I... If a competitor collapsed or anything or struggled with the deadlift he's, he's, he's literally strapped into the bar so you can't really get at him but the other reason is uh, you know the straps stretch out three or four inches so you know you, you're giving yourself an extra height in the deadlift where this boy Christoph, even though he shortened his deadlift with a sumo lift uh, he didn't give himself any advantage on the straps and it was a phenomenal deadlift and uh, well done to him and for those who don't know, Ultimate Strongman don't allow any suits or any figure of eight straps um, just because you're, you're old school, aren't you? That's it. Well, listen, we're learning to find the Ultimate Strongman, the Ultimate Strength Athlete, and it's old school, raw stuff, things that people recognise. We try and create these fantastic disciplines that I uh, dream about every night, if you like, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that people can actually relate to and think, wow, you know, from hoisting the flag uh, on the hinge end, you know, for the flag hoist, which will be in the UK final. You know, we've created, uh, I was the first one to create a design who felt stone, which was a Celtic cross, and you see it now on the African stone and different things like that. Uh, the list goes on and on the human link. You know, I've designed lots of events over the years. That are caused basically outrageous. Um, we could do a whole video on. Yeah, we're sure, I'm sure we will. We will sure we'll do, we'll touch it on this new Sunday lunch. Yeah. Um, and we want to develop that. And we really thank everybody for tuning in last week at our first episode. Yeah. It was really good. And yeah, we, we got we some got nice. really good responses, um, yeah. which we're really keen about. Um, and, and thank you for your feedback because uh, we will work on that. Yeah. Our next topic on the agenda is looking at the Ultimate Strongman, UK Strongest Man Eliminator. And this, what was the idea behind this event? Well, uh, the Gorilla Glue uh, Eliminator that we put on in Doncaster is a bolt-on to the UK Strongest Woman to obviously introduce strongman fans to women's sport. But the other uh, main reason was to find our final three markers to qualify for the UK Strongest Man across the four nations. And obviously lockdown was very difficult for a lot of athletes. Some of them couldn't train and stuff like that. So doing the final qualifier, they did struggle. Um, to do that so we give a couple of the uh, top athletes from last year's UK Strongest Man that wild card invitation but more importantly the ones that just messed out on third fourth spots they were given the invite you know and to, to compete and get a second bite of the cherry to grab that top three place and uh, so you really had the best of the best there from all four nations <laughs> it, it, was, out. it was a stack lineup let's be honest uh, let's be honest it was it could have been the uk strongest yeah, man final be. day that's how good it was i mean you, you got your scott minions there and stuff it was just it was lethal andrew yeah, flynn there andrew flynn got, was, a, was a finalist last yeah, year yeah and so was scott yeah, and was, i mean it was as you say totally stacked from top to bottom and uh, it was really really good to watch and uh 
There were some surprises. There was some, some surprises. surprises. Some surprises. Um, and uh, we we didn't go. We obviously got the, uh, the the three principles we decided on to find the final eliminator. We did the tire flip, old school tire flip. I mean, a lot of the guys that oh, we're flipping tires. I've done that for ages, you know, because <laughs> it's like something that's to stop flipping tires, you know. It's a really core strength movement. They do it in rugby. They do it in MMA. You know, and uh, it was. I thought it's about time I brought it back. And it's going to be the UK Strongest Man final as well. It's going to kick off the competition on day one. So that's going to be absolutely... Good training, good training for them. Good cardio training, very agility. You've got to be explosive with it. I always remember how great Sven Carson was at it. Yeah. Uh, Magnus Samuelsson when I was competing. And that these are the guys always... And actually, Yoko Hola, I'll never forget him as well. He actually showed me how to flip tyres and all the guys that do what we call a one -er along with my old friend Martin Campbell of Ireland. He was yeah. fantastic at the one as we call it, with <laughs> one movement. But all that seemed to have stopped. I mean, the guys are struggling with these tyres because yeah. they're not doing them enough. Um, so it's going to be a real challenge, I think, at the UK Strongest Man. But it, you could tell that some of the guys in the Eliminator put a fantastic performance uh, in the Philip White tyre flip. And we did have a bit of a comment about that um, after the event. That, that a lot of the guys, that you, it was England's Strongest Man, we were at Doncaster. Uh, back in August, and some of the guys really, really struggled. But looking at the scores here, eleven out of the twelve guys finished the tire flips, which just showed that the they've been training. They've been, yeah, they've been yeah training. the training, the quality was up there in their lineup. But also, more importantly, they've now started training tire again, and it's great. Yeah. You're, you're flipping an earth mover at eight hundred eighty pound. You know, you need to be training that. You need to be working hard on that cardio of it, and the power and explosiveness to do that event. And uh, it was great to see. Uh, some great performances, especially uh, our fellow countryman Nicky Whelan. He actually Nicky got a runner-up spot in that event. Got a runner-up spot, and he was a wild card in. Uh, there was two guys sort of had to come in last minute due to injuries and different things, and Nicky was one of them. And uh, for a guy who had a couple of weeks' notice, well, he's he, one, one of the oldest competitors as well. Yeah, the lineup yep. showed its experience, in and that they, event. he smashed that event. You know, <laughs> you know another guy really? I would really have to give a, a mention to in that event that really shocked us because we didn't. I personally, I didn't know much about him coming from Scotland. Callum Crouser in that event come third, and he was very close off the top there as well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, and again, he was another. He was the other wild card. You know, so these wild card guys just goes to show how what top quality they were. We got last minute um, entries to it, um, you know. Like I say, we we tried to find the best. Everybody was offered that uh, come down the ranks in Scotland's strongest man. Um, some got injured, some didn't take it up due to other commitments. Um, but you know, we did get, in my opinion, probably the twelve best we could have hoped for at the time. Probably the twelve best in the country to do this final eliminate, and it was absolutely fantastic. And the, you know, Andrew Flynn. In that Philip Wide tire flip showed why he is the flying yeah. flip. Mm -hmm. He smashed it and won it, didn't he? What was it, 32 and a seconds? 32 seconds. <laughs> uh, he was which definitely was it, the which, flying flip. Which, 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 which was an insane time um, in that, you know, it, it really, really good. And uh, it's going to be in the UKs this year, and uh, let's see who'll win it there. Yeah. Um, the second event in the, the Eliminator was the dumbbell press. Mm -hmm. uh, your dumbbells are a lot different to any other dumbbell. Why is that? Well, um, uh, this the Daddy Dumbbell, which is the signature 90 kilos um, that we have, is a traditional Arnold dumbbell. And when I was back, when I competed in the Arnold Classic, and um, it has a massive handle. It's got three and a quarter inch handle. It's absolutely huge. So you, you, to clean this 90, 90, 90 kilo dumbbell to the shoulder and then cup it in your hands you've got to have decent sized paws you know <laughs> and you've got to have a good leg drive and it's a it's a mighty beastly implement for a mighty beastly man that has to press it well and it did, did test a lot of athletes but the guy coming out on top there was andrew flynn really showing his class with four repetitions what, what a performance that was there yeah i mean i mean he was really 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 good wasn't he i mean he just goes to show that he is top echelon competitor and uh, was the guy kind to of, to watch when it comes to the UK strongest man in the uh, twisted barbell daddy dumbbell event. They, those were pristine dumbbells, um, really really awkward um, implements. Uh, the third discipline in the UK strongest man eliminator was the deadlift for reps. So the three hundred kilos, guys, no suits. 
what a weight. But what a massive weight, <laughs> absolutely massive weight, and some fantastic deadlift performances, you know. Um, uh, Chris Morgan from one, uh, T-Rex, you know, uh, really performed, he, he smashed out their nine reps, and everybody fancied the, the, the brave heart Scott Million yeah. to uh, do the business in, in the Cerberus deadlift. But um, the winner for, the, uh, for the, that event um, was Desmond. Was, Desmond was Des, Gannon. Des Gannon. And, and, and I'll, I'll let you in the secret, guys. Des, is, in my opinion, is probably one of the guys in my opinion, should be in the always make the final day in the UKs. And he just he keeps yeah. turning up. They call him the Viking, and he's a Viking. The Welsh Viking, for one reason, he's there to fight. But for some reason... It's nothing to do with the ponytail, then. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it, it always falters at the UK final. But listen, he, he come into this, we had, a, had to get his head focused. I phoned Des a couple of times. I said, look, get yourself geared up. You can make this. Yeah. And he said, well, I'm coming to injuries. I said, look, you're meant to be the Viking. Let's, yeah. get, let's, let's do this. And boy, did he do it, you know? Yeah. And he smashed the deadlift. Absolutely unbelievable with uh, 10 repetitions. The only guy to get double figures. I know he did say to me um, prior to the show about his hamstring, saying something about tearing it, uh, maybe a slight mm. tear. He wasn't really um, up for it, but you did convince him. You convince a lot of people to do these shows. Now, <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, listen, uh, I, I, you see, you, you know, there's great guys throughout the sport, you know, and sometimes you see some guys I would call the George Bests, yeah. you know, they don't realize how good they are, yeah. you know, and sometimes I'm not saying they waste their talent. You know, um, I, I'm not saying they could go. Uh, I just feel that with a bit of pushing, a bit of guidance, a bit like Tyson in the boxing, yeah. with the right guys in guidance, he become an unbelievable boxer. But if he didn't have that guidance, it would just be Tyson again. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh, uh, I feel that sometimes a strong man, and certainly as a promoter and as a past compared to myself, it's in my duty, if you like. To, to, to encourage the young guys coming through, to encourage some of the strongmen. And, and I, I hope I, I do that. I hope, hope I, I'm not too pushy at times. Uh, the guys, are, I, I do it for your own good to, to make the best you can be. And there is a, there is a side interview that we have. Um, I actually went, we're going to have a bit of behind the scenes. Video will be up very soon. And I had a little interview with Gavin Bilton and he did mention that kind of role that you have in kind of nurturing um, the competitors, so that's that's nice just to say. Well, it's having... nice to hear that. Yeah. Nice to hear that. And he actually said to me about that earlier. And folks, if you think this, this is rocking up and down, it's because the boat's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the shakes or our markers, you know. <laughs> but um, no, um, no, it's good to hear Gavin and, and and Gavin just go to show what sort of an ambassador as a UK champion he come to support all his fellow countrymen. Right, as a champion, though, like would would that. Would you have went to any of the contests, anything leading up to see how those athletes were getting on? Was he there just to support his kind of uh, gym gym members, or it, was he there to see what the talent was? It, I think if he's a wild old fox, you don't discount anybody. <laughs> I mean, there is Tyson Fury, you know. Yeah. You know, in his head, I'm going to beat Dylan White, but don't discount that. Yeah. One day c could be it. You know, that one event could ruin him. So, you know, everybody's a threat. Everybody has a threat event, if you like. And, uh, and and Gavin was just watching who was ready. Yeah. And you can definitely see that uh, there was a couple of competitors there. Are there to do damage at the UK yeah, Strongest Man? Definitely are. Um, I'm looking at that there. After the, the deadlift, Andrew Flynn won the competition and he booked his automatic space to UK Strongest Man. And it was well deserved. Yeah, well deserved. The flying Flynn, you know, um, uh, uh, he has a wee bit of a, a following, you know, by the ladies. <laughs> From what I've been told now, uh, by some of my staff, uh, that everybody loves Andrew Flynn. Everybody loves Matthew McCoy. He's going yeah. to be in the UK and department. Scott, and Scott, and Scott Mellon. Yeah, these are the <laughs> these are the housewife favourites, yeah. if you like. So uh, it's great to have Andrew back. He's yeah. a great competitor. He's made the final a couple of times, but has not performed in the final. Marcus. No, he he hurt himself in the, after the first round. He won the first <laughs> event, which no. was the truck push. Yep. Um, the technique, you have to go and watch that, guys, on, on, on the Catch Up and Channel 5, because it was some performance. And then he, I think it was somebody with his tricep, I believe he pulled something. And um, he just couldn't recover from that. No, and uh, and listen, 
I think as this eliminator proved, when Andrew Flynn's on form, he's going to be a threat for the Gorilla Glue UK Strongest Man 2022, in my opinion. Yeah, and we can't wait to see him there. Um, but the main kind of event is the Stone Eliminator. Um, oh, but the, but let's not forget about number two. You're forgetting yeah, about the other guy, oh, the other guy. <laughs> And like I'm told, you know, what we, we, I try to mentor him a little bit the last few weeks has been Desmond Gannon, you mm. know, to fight through these injuries sometimes, yeah. you know, because if you're not sore, you're not hurt, you haven't trained hard enough. Yeah. And that's a fact. That is a fact, mm -hmm. you know. Many of Britain's strongest man, many UK strongest man that I went to, you know, had a sore back, busted hands, you know, but champions fight through that, do, yeah. you know. And it was actually Des Gahan actually got the second automatic spot, um, which it kind of come out of nowhere. I didn't think he was going to make it, yep. um, but he pulled it out after that win in the deadlift, yep. secured his second spot. Yep, so I mean, to find those top two spots, we got a nice, cardio event if you like and a power explosive event with the tire flip 880 pound i wouldn't say it was cardio cardio it's a tough <laughs> tough event and then you have the day the 90 kilo dumbbell which is you know showed the pressing power of the athlete and then the lower pack strength uh, in the deadlift so these two guys proved that they were the top guys to go through and represent england and indeed wales in the uk strongest man final 100 percent and then we had the Eliminator, okay, the Stone Eliminator from 100 up to 160 kilos. Your stones are like no other stones out there. No. Nope. Uh, we had Scott Millen, the Braveheart, and we had Chris, the Beef Beefham, going up against each other. Really good friends as well, and I had a bit of a backstage interview with them, <laughs> and I went, I went Scott and Chris, but how would you feel if both of you went up against each other? And there was a bit of laughs, like it, would, it wouldn't happen, but it happened, and um, what a showdown it was. Absolutely brilliant, and listen, the guys were well up new, whoever come third or fourth was going to do a stone eliminate playoff, and ironically, Scott was a, a point or so ahead, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, going into that, so he actually got the third place, uh, but Chris earned his fourth spot to, to do this stone playoff, and listen, both guys, Unbelievable at stones, as you know, Scott Millen made the UK final <laughs> last year, putting up all the stones. So he's done that big 160, 22 inches in diameter. Not many have done it on the planet. He's put it up many a couple of times now. So he knew what the tools were that was needed to deliver a performance. And he flew with the first four, didn't he? They? they were like lightning, absolute lightning. Come to the fifth, and he was stuck in that lip. And he was stuck in that lip. It's like a tortoise in the hair. Yeah. Chris, beefy beat him, just plodded along, <laughs> and then put the fifth on and beat Scott, which what was just it was absolutely unbelievable yeah, drama to watch. TV gold. But you could tell it meant a lot to Chris. He just yeah. when he did go up, went yeah, on his knees, didn't he? Of, and he just couldn't emotion. believe it. Yeah. He, he, he realised that what he'd achieved, his dream to be in the UK Strongest Man final, and it was well deserved. But listen, Scott's got the uh, wild card place now. So that Scotland's going to be a massive strength performance at the UK's and uh, Scott will be going to be part of our show. He's going to be our official tester. So we're going to make sure the Braveheart's going to be there for the fans. And I'm sure Gavin Dalton will be definitely worried about who, who he's going to be coming up against. He's now got the full lineup now of who, who, who he's going to be defending this title against. And check out www.ultimatestrongman.tv along with our social media to find out the clear list of events and the athletes as well. And get your tickets. Get your tickets and, uh, you know, this YouTube as well, there's a, lot, there's a link to, to the tickets as well. And we'll be updating now in the next few days some of the clips from the show. And then it obviously then we'll be on uh, Sporty TV in the next couple of months. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do an actual production of the one hour production on the Gorilla Glue UK Strongest Man Final Eliminator and the top three. It, uh, the next thing on our agenda is talking about the UK Strongest Woman. It was in Bangor last year. What, what made you bring it to England this time? Well, you know, a great introduction in manga. We got it televised, a couple of hours of TV for the girls. But we felt this needed to be a, a growth arena event. So we'd had, you know, from a 500 seater to, you know, over a thousand seats. And, uh, you know, it was delivered in Doncaster and it was bolted on by the men to obviously encourage strength fans to show these that these ladies 
can mix it with the best. They can put up massive performances, just like the men do, and lift unbelievable stuff. I mean, there was car lifting, there was stone lifting, they were pressing huge weights. It was just non-stop action. And we had probably the best on the planet at the event. Not just the best in the UK, the best on the planet uh, were in attendance. And that's the great thing about the UK at the minute. Strength from your Tom Stoltmans to your Gavin Biltons, you know, at the top, uh, El Shalom. They're world beaten athletes and the women are the same. We've got our Donna Moore as world's strongest woman. We've now got Becca Roberts as world's strongest woman and they're all from the UK. But the wonderful thing about that as a strength fan, you can get to watch them in the UK, <laughs> yeah. in the UK shows. Yeah, and we also had Lucy, Lucy Underdown, who's a world record holder in the deadlift, and Annabelle Chapman, who's probably ranked number one. Um, uh, yeah, across, the, across, the, shows, across yeah. the shows. So, I mean, across the whole um, of all the nations, we had the best of the net best, and across the world as well. Um, just like the boys, uh, the girls were looking at the tariff flip to start with. I mean, what, what 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 kind of weights were they lifting there? Well, it was 250 kilos, Marcus. It was the same tire as last year. Um, and again, we introduced it back into the mix last yeah. year. Girls struggled with it <laughs> uh, last year in the competition. But this year, they all smashed it. They went and done their homework. Yeah. They've got the tools. They've practiced with the tools and they delivered with the well, tools. There was a bit of cockiness last year about this tire and they definitely done their homework on it anyway. <laughs> yes, they did, because it's an awkward big thing. It's not massively heavy. Um, in, in probably, I'm sure most of the girls probably could flip heavier. But, you know, this was a 20 metre course. Explosive power had to come into play. But what this tire was, was an awkward big thing. It was, it was very awkward. Um, and all the girls finished it. Um, but the fastest time was Becca Roberts, world's strongest woman, looking to become UK's strongest woman. What a performance. What a performance of Becca winning the Philip White tires. And, and Philip White, uh, folks, is uh, a, a one of our sponsors. We've got, we've got to remember these sponsors. He's been with uh, Ultimate Strongman from the beginning in 2004. He's been responsible for helping me be champion for many years, uh, delivering it with top quality goods and tires and heavy earth movers. And uh, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I, I, I thank his father, uh, Philip White, and uh, uh, Liam now is in looking after it and the business and uh, it keeps delivering for us. And uh, thanks to them and thank you for helping our sport. And I'm sure on YouTube you guys probably wouldn't have really heard kind of the, the promoter kind of perspective of things about Strongman and that's what hopefully this channel can provide you with um, to kind of just see the pressures of actually setting up an event um, and, and the role that sponsors actually play in that. And we're, we're growing every year, we've got Gorilla Glue on board who, which are an international business um, and yeah. such a big brand to go in line with your company. Oh, and, and, and they come on board for the UK Strongest Man and then I told them that we've got the UK strongest woman. <laughs> and they jumped on board. I mean, they really have embraced uh, women's sport as well. And, uh, you know, without our major blue chip sponsors, yeah. th these things don't happen. And thanks to Gorilla Glue, who are the sponsors of the Gorilla Glue UK strongest <laughs> woman 2022. Uh, after that, then we had the Donna Moore dumbbell why why did you name it after donna what, what's well, so significant about well, that well how could you not name it she is the goat and i don't mean that in another way the goat yeah. stands for the greatest of all time and she is in women's sport she's done all these records she's won the title three times as world's strongest woman nobody there for a, five years longer even could touch donna murray she was absolutely lethal and Without a doubt, the strongest ever lift anything uh, in women's sport. And, uh, you know, as a UK athlete, as an English competitor, we introduced these fantastic dumbbells uh, made and tooled by Twisted Barbell. And they are absolutely beautiful, <laughs> aren't they? They're polished steel. And they're uh, 53 kilo replicas of the Thomas Inch, you know. Uh, so they've got a nice thick Coke can handle which the girls they're not normally used to not used they're, to that you know and uh, some of them really really struggled with it but it was a fantastic event it looked amazing and thanks to twisted barbell another yeah. company embracing a new company on the, on the block yeah. you know and uh, it's great to see 
um, that things are going well for him and uh, he's producing some fantastic stuff now. And wait, there was only four girls actually got a rep in the dumbbell, which showed how awkward and heavy this, this event was. Um, but the two up at the top were Becca Roberts and Donna Moore, eight repetitions. Very yeah, they, they were very good. Um, but girls are really, really getting a lot stronger and it was great to see some girls like Sarah Reynolds um, who was there was one wild card entry to the show and that was Sarah Reynolds uh, our Irish girl competitor from Dublin and she re she was so close to pressing that dumbbell yeah. so many times <laughs> you know and Shannon Clifford um, you know the pocket rocket Such you know an explosive athlete, yeah really pound for pound it, she is the uh, strongest athlete on the planet at the minute she's yeah, 60 I'm kilo sure, class yeah. Um, and you know, like it's, this just goes to show you, this twelve girl lineup was stacked from top to bottom with the very best. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at that. Well, what kind of let's take let's take the dumbbell as an event. Annabelle Chapman, probably one of the biggest shoulders on the planet, compressor log. What? How does that transfer into the dumbbell? Didn't do as well. It's still got rap five repetitions, but how does that transfer into the dumbbell? Well, log pressing um, is power. You know, and she had statically on the shoulders has pure power. But the great thing about dumbbell is not just power. It's a bit like an Olympic whiff lifter. Yeah. If you can get underneath that dumbbell, a little bit of a split jerk uh, and do your explosive power, you can deliver. And uh, the two girls that come first, Becca Roberts did that, who's a pure powerhouse as well, to be fair. But Donna Moore, you've seen it, she was using a lot of her technique underneath. You know, very flexible and was uh, powering up. Uh, but Animal Chapman, even though she's an absolute powerhouse, some of the explosive power, I think she was slightly disappointed with her performance. But we're going to see more of Annabelle because she's going to be attempting her, the best event that she has in the log lift. What is it? Is it going to be the first girl to lift 300 pounds in the log? 300 pounds. She's going to make history and. Uh, mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the ferry. <laughs> Well, I hope that's not ours. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're going to get home. So, as you can see, we're on the terminal here, so apologies, strength fans. Um, so, yeah. So, Annabelle's going to be at the UK Strong. UK Strong, strong uh, and um, she's going to be the halftime show, and she's going to be the first girl in history to press £300 in a log. And listen... Last year, you got to see history, the first girl to do the deadlift of 300 kilos. Well, Annabelle, in the grand final, will be the first girl in history to press a 300 pound log. UltimateStrongman.tv, <laughs> get that ticket, because they're nearly selling out now for the final. And we'll see you there to see history being made by the wonderful, and she is a wonderful girl, and super strong Annabelle Chapman of England. And we just went from really one world record holder to another. Uh, moving into event three, looking at the deadlift for reps, Lucy Underdown. I mean, 18 repetitions of 200 kilos. Yeah, a new, a new, a new world record new for world Ultimate record. Strongman. Um, 18 repetitions. Who can beat that? There's nobody on earth at the minute that's going to beat 18 reps. And, you know, uh, let's see your videos <laughs> if you know anybody, you know, because. Uh, that is an official competition record, 18 repetitions, 200 kilos, 440 pound, Lucy under down. Not only is the world record for maximum of 300, she's now the repetition world record holder. And uh, she's also going up against the unbelievable competitor, Rihanna Lovelace in a head-to-head -head deadlift playoff. And that's of 500 pounds. There's another 30 kilos on top. And these two girls have been training really, really hard. And we're looking to see them on Friday smash it to see who is the best deadlifter. Well, they had a bit of an unfinished business after last year. They were in the brick deadlift. And I believe they got both the same reps. Same reps. So I'm excited. <laughs> You've got uh, one of the lighter weight classes, uh, Rihanna Lovelace, who has a heart of gold. You know, she's really delivered. Uh, for strength sport for women she's and helping a bit of an ambassador now. Yeah, she has. Yeah, she's helped, she's she's guided us a little bit, and, I, and thank you to Rihanna for that. She's been an absolute angel in, in in giving us a little bit of advice on some of the weights and stuff like that. Um, you know where women's sports at, and it's really been a real help as we continue to grow the sport. You know, as this is televised again as well, 
uh, and we, we continue to grow. And uh, thanks to Rihanna, thanks to quite a few girls, Donna, and people who give us advice going forward. Um, and the girls' sport continues to grow. And that Deadlift Channel is once again sponsored by Cerberus, who's been with us for some years now. Cerberus Strength, haven't they? Yeah, they have. Top products. Um, I'm not just saying that. In my opinion, the wrist wraps are the best I've ever used in my life. <laughs> They're absolutely lethal. Do check them out. But um, no, great, great uh, company. They do a range of uh, strength products and uh, do check out Cerberus. And then we were moving on then to the fourth event um, with probably one of the, the best stone lifters on the planet um, with the likes of Donna Moore and Becca Roberts. Um, but who come, up, who come out on top there? Well, it was an absolute awesome, awesome uh, stone playoff. It was so close. Two girls got four stones on. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Nobody's got this last one on yet. It's 145 kilos. It's 21 <laughs> inches across. Um, the stones of strength are different to all the rest of the plant. They, are, they go up in different sizes of inches. Um, so they're not just weighted. They're, they're, they're quite a large diameter which creates a little bit more difficulty. And there are granite stone mix, and uh, uh, nobody's got it up yet. But uh, they've had a taxing day, Marcus. I mean, they, they had the deadlift, they had the, they had the dumbbell, they flipped the tires. So that, that low back was pretty taxed. And two of them nearly got the uh, good, good attempt at the fifth. But uh, the fastest in the four was none other than the current world's strongest woman, Becca Roberts. And there was a bit of fight and talk um, backstage afterwards. Um, talking about the world record that she's going for what re world records is she going for well so on day two of the uk strongest man we're, we're also a uh, halftime show we're in you know bringing the women in and developing them uh, into our sport and uh, there's a stone playoff oh. to see who is the stone monster of the two <laughs> girls donna and becca are going head to head again and both girls are well up for this stone both girls in practice they have stones a lot Way to them, one, four, five. They've all, they all put them on, but for some reason, this diameter, 21 inches, <laughs> is catching them out. But come and see it on the Saturday of the UK Strongest Man, and uh, uh, on the Jubilee Bank Holiday weekend, and you'll be, see history being made there. We will see one of them. I'm pretty sure, fresh as a daisy, going in with one event to deliver. Stones of Strength will finish the stone. Stones of Strength are definitely one of the best head-to-head -head events that you can possibly have. That's why you're doing them in, in, the, in the Eliminators as well. Uh, but then we moved on then to the final event, which, I mean, probably one of the most iconic Ultimate Strongman events, the car deadlift hole. Why were you putting these girls through so much pain to want that title? Well, the car deadlift hole is such a signature event now with strongmen. They get strapped in. I did it many times during Britain's and World's <laughs> Strongest Man. Nobody could beat their daddy. The only guy ever beat me in that was actually my good friend Hugo Gerard from <laughs> Canada. Um, and he beat me the day when I we went over in Canada that. A, a superb athlete. But yeah, I lo used to love that discipline. Another discipline that we brought back to strong man. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But what it is, is blood and guts if you like. Who wants it the most? You need to have a heart of a line to deliver it. And uh, there's nobody been beating our math own Matthew McCoy at this yeah. <laughs> for probably being the lightest, one of the skinniest guys in there. Yeah. He's like a tent peg. He holds it all day long <laughs> and nobody can beat him in it. But it's a great event and we introduced it into the women's sport, uh, event this year. Mm -hmm. And it, it definitely put up some really great yeah. matchups, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, it did. And the winner that came out on top there was Becca Roberts. I mean, Becca Roberts had such a phenomenal day. The current UK, or the current uh, world's strongest woman, and um, added to our title with the UK strongest woman. What did you make of that performance? Uh, she's a class act. She's a class act, and she de certainly delivered in the Paris Cars deadlift. You know, um, uh, who, who come in as a sponsor for the show, and uh, great, great performance. You know, it was good to see uh, for the athletes get over a minute yeah. in that hold. It was 190 kilos on the handles, which is a massive weight for a, a lady, you know, well over 400 pound. And uh, uh, Becca held it up the longest and uh, it was a great finish, great win to win the title as well. Uh, and she was facing Donna Moore, who also got over a minute and gave it all she could. Lucy comes second in it. 
uh, and also Annabelle Chapman got over a minute. But let's not forget, one of the athletes I thought was absolutely fantastic throughout the show, Izzy Tate, Terminator, Izzy Tate. Terminator yeah. Tate, we call her. <laughs> yeah. and, and listen, she almost got a minute in the hold, and she really wanted to go out on a high, and it was really, really great to see the Scott perform. And she was really good enough to be there last year, and you could see the emotion was there. She had a lot of supporters in the crowd. Yeah, she did. She did, screaming. She um, did, it did. Yeah. and listen, it was a great show. Um, so pleased with all the sponsors that come and support us, from Big Z Bands right through to uh, Complete Gyms. Uh, the list goes on, Twisted Barbell, Cerberus and Perry's Cars. And not forgetting our main sponsor, Gorilla Glue. Without them, and you know the support from Doncaster Dome, who always deliver for us, um, you know, for our uh, introductory events as we continue to grow the sport. But we we did do an announcement to the girls, and we're going to do it officially now today yeah. <laughs> to everybody online. Uh, England's strongest man, Wales' strongest man, Scotland's strongest man, and Ireland's strongest man pre-show. Each of the shows start at one o'clock, don't they? Yeah. On each of the dates, and uh, at eleven. We're going to do four disciplines with eight girl finalists as a pre England strongest woman, Ireland strongest woman, Scotland strongest woman, and Wales the strongest woman. So, fans that have that little bit extra, if, if you're a real proper old man, strong man fan, come out an extra hour, extra two hours early and watch the ladies perform in their national title. And it'll be televised as well. And as a real treat, we're going to finish on the stones and each of them ladies and that's going to be the halftime show at the main event so the girls will have a full crowd as they lift the title what a platform what a platform <laughs> so and that's going to be absolutely free to all ticket holders that's a, just a bolt-on extra we're going to bring these fantastic ladies we're going to keep continuing to grow the sport and we're now taking the national titles like we did the men and ultimate strongman we're going to grow, 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 because this is the best sport in the world. It is. And you're taking you're taking strong women to the next level now. And if there are any str strong women out there who, who haven't really got involved yet, how do they get involved in in, in, in competing in these shows? Well, we have a couple of uh, uh, Facebook platforms. You know, PM me, you know, the Daddy Glen Ross uh, on, on my Facebook. Or PM me, um, and I'm sure the girls will give you texts and stuff. And we'll get you onto the groups. You'll be updated with all the qualifying rounds that lead to these Englands. That in turn, the finalists from each of these nations as well, Marcus. Okay. As another surprise, we're now going to introduce them into the UK Strongest Man final in 2023 as an introductory uh, show. Uh, absolutely free again. Yes. Uh, for all UK Strongest Man ticket holders, for the Ultimate Strongman fans who want to see the sport for another hour or two. So if you're out there and you're watching us now and you want to be part of it, you know where to go. Next event, that is the Gorilla Glue UK Strongest Man. <sighs> what a big one that is. It's a big one. It's our flagship event in the UK. There's no question about it. Um, the Gorilla Glue UK Strongest Man 2022. It's over three days. Five hours of television on Channel 5, uh, but more importantly, we're going to have 10,000 fans gathered to watch the very best 16 athletes across our four nations are now secured and gathered for this Ultimate Strongman Final. 13 disciplines, pain, pain, pain all the way. Some brand new disciplines I've got organised. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We've got world record holders coming for halftime shows in the ladies. And we've got international world records with re, throughout the three days from uh, uh, Mateusz Kilikowski to Aliski Novikov. And obviously the GOAT, the greatest of all time, Sadrina Savikis will also be performing. So come and see them records that they're going to be doing. It's going to be absolutely unbelievable. Very excited and uh, ultimusroman.tv and we'll see, see you there. there. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below and let's see some great comments of what you'd like to see. And if you want to go to an Ultimate Strongman show, get your tickets, ultimusroman.tv and we'll see you there.